Well, you developed a computer vision solution with really advanced algorithm and you are ready to deploy. Are you? How difficult is it for you to run your pipeline on any arbitrary industrial camera? RTSP stream? Maybe YouTube stream or any other possible source of video? How much time do you need to develop a code for retrieving and pre-processing images from these types of video source to fit to your video analytics? If the struggle is real, you are in the right place. Today we will see how to isolate and solve those types of problems without losing a comfort of your Python dev environment in OpenCV. This is the Computer Vision Stream channel with Anton, where I share my knowledge about building computer vision solutions and software engineering. Stick to the end of this video, where I will cover how to economize a lot of compute power for some common use cases in smart cities. I have a very good news for you. Retrieving and pre-processing images from very different sources could be done with one multimedia framework library that is called GStreamer. If you are not familiar with uh, basic abstractions and pipeline construction in GStreamer, please look at this video where I, I cover the basics. If you already have seen GStreamer pipeline but were afraid to use it, we will see how to use it from OpenCV library. The prerequisite to using GStreamer with OpenCV is to verify that your instance of OpenCV was built with this support. In order to do that, we have a get build information function in OpenCV and under video IO, you will see if the support of GStreamer is present. In order to build your OpenCV with GStreamer support, you need uh, to use some additional flags. The example of simple compilation script is included in the repository associated with this video that you can find in the description. So, when you have GStreamer support inside OpenCV, you can use the basic video capture class and instead of providing file name or USB uh, camera, you can give GStreamer pipeline with an AppSync element that will permit OpenCV to retrieve images from any GStream pipeline. Then you can read it and visualize. Here we have an image from video test source element. You can also use additional elements to make pre-processing. For example, here we use video scale to scale an image to the full HD resolution. Second use case is to retrieve your video from some web server. For that purpose, you can use URI decode bin pipeline and you can apply some additional pre-processing with video scale and maybe some color correction. So here we took an image after the three seconds because the first frame was black and for the demonstration purposes we want to retrieve uh, some image from the video file. Next, and the most important use case from this tutorial is how to connect to very different industrial cameras. So for that purpose we have some generic plugins for GStreamer that we can use instead of video test source this plugin is called uh, Aravis. You, you will find the link to the GitHub repository in the description. And for some cameras, for some industrial uh, cameras, you can find a special plugin for one particular provider of the camera. For example, here the company Bustler provides the GST plugin called Pylon which could be used to read a video from their cameras inside GStreamer pipeline. And the only thing that you do is you change your video test source 
for pilot source and you are good to go with your computer vision solution. Next use case is to process the YouTube video with uh, GStreamer pipeline and OpenCV. In order to do that, you need to install YouTube download package and to retrieve a special HTTP S link to feed that link to your GStreamer pipeline. You can use this link directly with your ID code bin or with the SOAP HTTP source bin. We can see the first frame of the video and if we will skip a couple of seconds, we will see one frame from Oppenheimer trailer. Next, we will go to the bonus point. And for this use case, we will consider some low FPS use case. That means that your video processing pipeline is not required to process 30 FPS per second to process every frame in your video stream. Uh, for example, if you have a parking occupation detection, you don't need to process 30 frames per second because the status of the parking lot will not change that often. You can easily process uh, one frame every five seconds. In order to do that, first approach might be to write a script that will take one frame, then it will wait five seconds, and then it will take another frame and uh, make a cycle of that. But more elegant approach with using GStreamer could be just to control the frame rate of your GStreamer pipeline and OpenCV will be blocked automatically in the AppSync because AppSync will provide the new frame every fifth second. So here frame rate is one fifth that means we provide a new frame every fifth second. Here in this code, we measure the time of the start of iteration, how much time it will take to read to get a new frame, and we will print this information. You will see that the first frame was ready right at the beginning, but the second and the third frame were read exactly at a five second period. This might be an elegant way to spare a lot of computational resources on these particular use cases. And if you have a computation power to treat 30 FPS, you can just use this trick and to process like dozens and hundreds of cameras with the same compute power. Today we have seen how to use GStreamer with OpenCV and retrieve and pre-process the images from any possible video streams that you can imagine. From industrial cameras, from RTSP source, from some video hosted on some web server, etc. If you want to learn more about how you can test your video pipelines by using YouTube online streams, Check these previous videos about that. If you have any questions about building computer vision solutions, drop the comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to learn more hacks for building computer vision solutions that will go to production and deliver value. And we will see you in the next video.